Uh, good morning to all participants of the conference. Uh, the theme of our uh, uh, research is user authentication method information and telecommunication systems based on cascading multimodal biometric identification. Uh, good morning to all participants of the conference. Uh, the theme of our uh, uh, research is user authentication method information and telecommunication systems based on cascading multimodal biometric identification. Uh, let's speak some words about introduction and literature review. Nowadays, passwords are based on unique personal information and attribute identification methods are losing their relevance, but there are in great demand among users. These methods of providing access have significant technological shortcomings, which are becoming increasingly pronounced. One of such problems is the inaccuracy of user identification in the system and the high probability of violation of its security as a result of unauthorized access to information, information leakage, imitation of a certain attribute or password cracking, and so on. Another important problem of these methods is the lack of functionality to detect the substitution of an authorized user. Standard password for security system is increasingly being replaced or supplemented by biometric personal identification systems. According to the analysis of the scientific literature, the most effective and popular methods are the application of identification by facial geometry and voice message. The main advantage of the systems are low price, high security level, user convenience, accessibility, ease of use, remote access, etc. Uh, such authorization systems allow to solve problems related to the confidentiality of user credentials, identification, and authentication in information and telecommunication systems. However, at the current level of development of information technology, there is an increase in the frequency of false positives, service failures, artificial violations of control systems, and access to ITCS using cyber attacks, hardware, and software. Therefore, the task of development and or improving methods of multimodal biometric authentication to reduce the risk of successful implementation of the NSD violator to the ITS network becomes relevant. A number of modern methods of ITS information protection using biometric user identification methods have been developed and implemented. The authors in present the results of the analysis of face recognition methods and algorithms for comparing image patterns, as well as trends in the development of biometric identification and authentication of persons by facial geometry. In the analysis of method of biometric identification was carried out, the advantages and disadvantages of technologies of their realization are resulted. In modern methods of biometric identification, identification of users of computer systems designed to ensure the protection of confidential information was considered. Paper describes general methods and programs of biometric identification. Therefore, the results of the analysis of scientific and practical sources indicate that a sufficient amount of scientific and methodological and practical support was developed to solve the problems of ITS protection. These methods of access control are based on voice and face recognition and have a number of disadvantages. Such methods do not take into account the training sample identification data, in particular standards of target voice and face images, as well as physiological characteristics of the user. This does not ensure the cascading operation of biometric user identification system and a sufficient level of efficiency of the identification system to prevent the successful implementation of UAA. Based on few prerequisites, the purpose of the article is formulated, which is to develop a method of authentication of ITS users based on cascading multimodal biometric identification and its application in solving problems of timely detection and operational blocking of UAA. Let's describe materials and methods. In order to increase uh, the level of ITS security to prevent the successful implementation of the UAA violator, it's proposed to change the approach to solving the problem of user identification, namely, to solve this problem not in the systematic and simultaneous use of identification systems by voice and facial geometry within the framework of cascading identification of voice face with an increased educational sample of standards, in particular taking into account and physiological characteristics of the person. In this approach, the problem of user identification is solved separately for identification system by voice recognition and facial geometry with sequential activation of the second, provided the successful completion of the first. 
uh, the developer method of authentication based on cascading identification of voice face includes the following steps. The first by voice message. The second on the git geometry of the face. Therefore, performance of the second step is possible only on condition of successful identification of the first. The use of face identification systems by voice and facial geometry is the most user-friendly method of authentication, which is based on individual physiological features of the speech apparatus and the shape of the human face. The peculiarity of the application of the selected methods of biometric identification is the computer training of voice classifiers and face primitives of users, with increased training sample of target standards, which are stored in the database and taking into account physiological features of the person, namely different volume levels. Another. Uh, the generalized scam of multimodal biometric identification of ITS users is given in Figure 1. Uh, step 1 is normalization of the input voice signal. To remove fragments that do not contain a voice imprint, the input speech signal passes through a voice activity detector. The result of such an operation is the selection on a fragment of the voice, reducing computational complexity by elimination the calculation of fragments of the speech signal that do not contain a voice imprint. Uh, Consider in detail each of the cascades uh, steps of the method. Uh, stage 1 is identification by voice, me voice message. A detailed scheme of identification by voice message is given in Figure 2 on the next slide. Uh, now about selection of characteristics featured of the voice. The value of amplitude of the speech signal X, uh, which are outside the range on this equation are considered as a voice imprint, the rest as fragments of noise. The speech signal is divided into equal frames of duration in milliseconds, each value of the amplitude of which is estimated according to the rules of 3 sigma. Parameter alpha is interpreted as follows. If uh, 65% of the values of the amplitude of the speech signal in the frame are outside the range, the current snippet contains a voice, otherwise no noise or silence. Uh, next step is a comparison of the voice imprint with the reference ones contained in the database. The voice imprint is presented as a sequence of feature vectors, each of which describes the characteristics of the speech signal interval. The sequence of vectors is used to build a model of the voice standard of the ITS user. The main parameter used to identify the user is the similarity of the two sound fragments, input voice imprint and the target voice standard contained in the database. Stage 2 is identification by facial geometry. Uh, detection and localization of facial geometry in the image of video stream. In this article, the Violet Jones algorithm is used to search for the shape of geometry of the face in the image of video surveillance systems. The chosen algorithm is the best solution compared to the other algorithms in terms of efficiency and efficiency of face recognition. When using this method, the video image is presented in an integrated form of matrix as well as of total brightness to increase the efficiency of analytical calculations and each element of this matrix uh, stores the value of the sum of the pixel intensities that geometrically delineate the object of the left and top. The identification scheme is given in figure 3 on the next slide. The video image uh, on which the object is searched is represented in the form of a two-dimensional matrix with a dimension x and y, each pixel of which takes values for a monochrome image and for a color image format RGB. The search is performed in the active area of the image with rectangular features, a description of the user and his facial geometry. Uh, in figure 3 you can see the biometric identification by facial geometry. The biometric characteristics of the authors of the article are selected and initial data. Authorized as user number 1, the standards of voice imprint and facial geometry are given in figure 4. A verification of the proposed method was carried out using the specialized software developed by the authors on voice signals in figure 5 and phonochrome video images on figure 6, obtained it using a security camera Infinity SRDN SD with a resolution on uh, 800 to 600 pixels. On this table uh, number 2, you can see the results of identification by facial geometry. On figure 6, you can see the face uh, image by user number 1 and number 2. 
uh, as a result of application of the offered method, authentication for the user number one is successful, and for another, access F is blocked. The efficiency of the access control system based on voice and face recognition of the analog is, uh, is a number equation where k number of authorized users. As the number of users increase, the efficiency of such a system decreases exponentially. Accordingly, for the multimodal system proposed in the article, the results of operational efficiency are obtained. In figure 7. Now I would like to present some conclusions. The article solves the current scientific and practical problem, which is to reduce the risk of successful implementation of the UAA violator to the ITS network by increasing the methods of biometric identification and cascading application of identification systems that implement them. From the analysis of the obtained results, it follows that in comparison with the existing the developed method, provides increase of efficiency of functioning of the identification system. By increasing training and sample physiological features of the user's conditions and uh, cascade application of biometric user identification system. Uh, the method of multimodal biometric identification of users of the ITS network should be used for the effective operation of systems in spatial conditions in the interest of counteracing the implementation of UAA by the violation of the access regime and the lack of means of user identification. Thank you for your attention.